and welcome to Learn from the Experts. My name is Marianne Marzano, and I'm really excited today because I've been thinking about looking into acupuncture for a little problem I'm having with my back. And my friend here is Bonnie Diamond, and she's an expert. So I'm gonna get some of my questions answered. So Bonnie, thank you for being here. It's great to be here, Marianne. Now, what is the name of your business? My, the name of my business is Staying in Balance. Perfect. So I have so many questions about acupuncture. First, I'm a big baby. Does it hurt? It really doesn't hurt. Okay. I actually brought my needle so I can show you. Oh, um, fun. Just how uh, painless the whole experience is. And so a lot of times when I start working with people, I just show them that's the whole <gasps> thing. Oh, wow. Um, and if you notice, the needle is hair-like. Oh, yes. Um, and so the style that I do, one of the things that's special about it is it's a particularly gentle style of acupuncture. Um, and so I have patients who fall asleep while they're getting treatment. So not only doesn't it hurt, it's unbelievably relaxing. Yes. Well, I've been hearing a lot about it. So how does it work? So um, we use the five element, five organ system, and there's a whole set of correspondences that go with that. And so I just have a little diagram here. Okay. And um, so lungs uh, go with the metal element, and um, the time of the year is autumn, so we're in the time of the lungs right now. Um, so when you see lung imbalances, you're all, all often seeing uh, upper respiratory problems. Um, and there's also an emotion, grief, that goes with that. Oh, how interesting. Um, and the color is white. So there's this whole set of correspondences. Um, the next season element, organ is uh, winter and the kidneys and water. Um, the emotion is fear and the bones go with um, this organ and element. Then we have springtime, the wood element, the liver organ, tendons, and the emotion is um, anger. Cool. And then we have the fire element, which is, uh, goes with summertime and the heart. Um, and the emotion is joy. And then we have uh, the earth element, which is um, late summer and goes with the spleen. Uh, it's really the whole digestive system um, and the muscles. So we use this system as a way of figuring out where there's imbalance in the body. Um, the way that I do this is um, I actually am pressing on various areas of the body. So all of the elements are represented in the abdomen. So when a patient comes in, I do a very full intake. I find out what their goals are, what they're coming to me for, and then I palpate the abdomen, and we see which organs might be out of balance. Yeah. And then I use points on uh, distal parts, so points far from the pain, to release any tension in the body. Oh. So the other piece of this that's important is that each organ has a meridian that goes with it. And uh, here's my acupuncture doll, and uh, you can see there are points all over the body. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, this is the liver meridian. This is the stomach meridian. Oh. So we use points along the meridians. Um, somebody comes in with pain, often there's a blockage in one of the meridians. And with treatment, we open up that blockage. So that's the, the that's kind of the basics. Right. Of, yeah, I'm sure years of study and, and this, you just had to explain yes. it in three yes. minutes. Yes. Oh, that's fascinating. So this seems like an art form. Where how did it begin? What's the So it began um, about three thousand years ago in China. Um, we have some ancient texts where um, questions are asked of a healer and answers are given and it's all recorded. Um, and that's really when it started. We don't know who came up with the idea or how they figured this out because it's a very complex mm -hmm. um, system. But when you start to study it and practice it, it, it works as a whole. It becomes true for, for the individual, not mm -hmm. just, you know, as writing in books, but, you know, as treating patients and seeing them get out of pain and sleep better and um, feel more more relaxed. So it's it's really this amazing, uh, amazing practice and amazing tradition that I really feel honored to be 
sure. um, a part of. Yeah, I have been hearing a lot of good things. Like I said, that's why I was thinking about it. And so um, this is great. How long, say, how long does a session last or, mm -hmm. you know, often? So um, the way that I treat people and, and one of my, um, one of my strengths is that I spend a lot of time with my patients. I only see one patient at a time, and I uh, schedule an hour and 15 minutes for each treatment. Um, so a patient would come in initially, I would do a full intake with them, then I'd get them up on the table. Um, I'd find out exactly where they're experiencing um, pain or discomfort. Um, and look to release that during the treatment so that they know something's happening as I'm treating them. Um, and I like to see people initially once a week for five weeks okay. because there's something that happens in the body. Um, the body learns something. It's not just that I'm getting rid of pain, it's that I'm teaching the body something. And I find people who come in for that uh, initial uh, set of treatments, they can go away and then come back a year later and, the, and they respond more quickly because the body's learned something, so. Uh. That's so interesting and, and I've been reading and hearing a lot more about that and it makes a lot of sense. And even, you know, cell memory and all that kind of yeah. stuff. It's really fascinating. Now, a lot of people have, you know, multiple things, might be on medication, having mm -hmm. surgery, things like that. So how compatible is this with other so acupuncture really is um, a modality that works in uh, complement with other modalities, be it, uh, so m most of my patients are on some medication or have been. Um, I see patients either pre-surgery or post-surgery. Um, I see patients who are going to other practitioners. They may be going to a chiropractor, they may be getting massages. And I really believe in an interdisciplinary approach that we need to take the best from everything that we have and, and put it together and really get the person um, feeling as good as they can be, living their authentic lives, mm. having ease in their lives. And so um, I work with other medical professionals and I have over my, uh, the course of, of my work. No, that's, that's great. And I think that um, one thing, so I'm wondering if this helps, this area. So I find with me sometime, mm -hmm. like I, I'm complaining about this back issue that I'm having. Mm -hmm. And I have one little back issue that, say, responds to ibuprofen immediately. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I have another one in my mid-back, and it happens, it seems to come up more when I'm stressed mm -hmm. emotionally. So I think that obviously our body works with stress. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it might not be the organ, but the stress. Do you find that it opens up some kind of pathway to release stress or maybe... Uh Go Absolutely. Ahead. So but we don't separate body and mind. Okay. Um, and so like each of the organs has a certain emotion that goes with it. Oh, right. You did talk I, about I, that. Yeah. Right. And this is a new kind of thing because generally in Western medicine, we think, oh, my elbow hurts. But, you know, we th and then we think, oh, I'm stressed out. And we don't oh. always make the connection that the pain, you know, the pain in the arm may also be a result of stress or may get worse when we're stressed because we hold and there's a there's a reason there's a biological reason you know we hold a little we yeah. tighten and so yeah. of course that affects you know how we're feeling you know in our physical body um, and so I see most of the people who come in they'll say um, I'm living a stressful life mm -hmm. and so part of the um, of the treatment is to reduce stress and use that as a way to then um, deal with sort of physical conditions in the body and to really look at it very, very um, holistically. Yeah, that's great. Well, we're, we're starting to run out of time, but before we do, I just want to make sure I didn't maybe miss an important question. Is there one thing that you would want to touch on? So the um, one thing is how I got interested in acupuncture. Oh, good. Um, I was in high tech. I was a computer programmer. Wow. And I was, um, I had a good job, and I got very sick. I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. Wow. And that totally changed my life. Mm -hmm. A friend suggested that I uh, try acupuncture, and I went, and I got interested in it, and I felt energy moving through my body. Wow. And I ended up going back to school and studying acupuncture, and 
um, working with medical doctors and um, an acupuncturist. And after about nine years of having the illness um, off and on, I, uh, I was cured from this what? condition. Yeah. And so I, when I'm working with people, I know what it's like to be exhausted, you know, right. to have brain fog, to be in pain. Um, and I know what that journey is like. And so perfect. I, yep. yeah. That's so perfect. I'm with people when they're struggling with these things. And um, my message is that there's always something that you can do to bring your body into balance. And That's perfect. One of my passions is helping people reclaim their power to heal because we really have that power and we need to own it. Um, that's a great message. No, that's so. a great message and it's a great way to, uh, the best thing you could leave everybody with is that we do have that power. Yes. And, yeah. and then sometimes we need help with, to kind of tap into that yes, pow power. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Bonnie. You've You're convinced welcome. me that I am going to try acupuncture. Okay. So thank you for joining us today. And if you'd like to know more about Bonnie's practice, go to WBOA.org and go to our member directory and look up Bonnie Diamond. So thank you so much and you have a great day. Thanks. <laughs>